Okay, beautiful day here in Moss Beach, California. And I'm gonna be painting the scene behind me. It's a scene I've done before on an overcast day, never done it on a sunny day. Uh, but let me show you what I'm thinking. One of the biggest challenges today is that there are no shadows at all. There will be shadows soon because the sun is moving towards the west. So behind some of these rocks, I'm gonna get some of that nice ultramarine, uh, you know, color. Uh, in the shadows, but here's where I'm set up. I'm using the Anderson easel. I've got an 18 by 24 inch stretched canvas, um, which may be a problem because it's slightly illuminated from the sun, you know, shining in the back. Uh, so I may have to keep turning it so that it doesn't get fully backlit. It's one of the challenges of painting with a stretched canvas, uh, but I've got a bunch of these and I want to use them up. As usual, using liquid, odorless mineral spirits, my usual palette of colors, and probably gonna be working with this number 10 natural for most of the painting, and then finishing it off with a number 10 uh, bright. So I toned in burnt sienna and I'm sketching in burnt sienna as well. And there's the composition. Uh, so, you know, usually what I do is I just look at the big shapes and I try to get the big shapes mapped out and then I can come in and be a little bit more specific with the shape of the rocks. Um, and what I'm looking for is relationships. How does this rock here relate to this one in size and, you know, location? and then the same for these rocks here. And then how does this rock relate to, you know, the cliffs? And I just sort of have fun uh, just looking for those uh, little delicate shifts in shape. Okay, so I've just sort of suggested some of the dark shapes and I've decided that I'm gonna go with a mid-tone value for the land and the water. And I can use my palette to gauge whether I'm at a mid-tone or not because this, uh, the palette is a mid-tone gray. And then I can work from the mid-tone out. So in other words, I can find darker bits in the rocks and the cliffs and then also lighter, uh, lighter portions as well. All right, for the sky, I'm using a mixture of titanium white uh, ultramarine blue and phthalo blue. Okay, for the seawater, I'm starting out with ultramarine with a bit of yellow ochre. And again, I'm gonna kind of mix this to a mid-tone value. So that looks pretty good. Still got some titanium white in my brush, but I'm not really worried, you know, about making this perfect at this point. <laughs> Actually, I, or at any point. Uh, just trying to cover things quickly. I've indicated there's sort of white water here and here. And I just want to cover it and then I can look for delicate shifts in the, um, you know, value and temperature. I'm mixing in a bit more yellow because as it gets closer to the shore, it's a little bit uh, more yellow or green. All right, so for the rocks and cliffs, I'm going with uh, burnt sienna, uh, titanium white, and a little bit of yellow ochre.
All right, so I noticed there's some blue in the cliffs, so I'm mixing in a bit of ultramarine into uh, my mixture. Okay, so here's what I finished up with. And as I mentioned, I was able to get some shadows behind these rocks, just almost like straight ultramarine. Um, I feel like I could have pushed the color in the cliffs a little bit more and also in the water. Um, but overall, you know, I like the composition. As I mentioned, it's a composition I've done before, um, but not with this lighting effect. Uh, it was a great time out there. Actually, I walked to explore a little bit and I ran into my friend Sophie, who you've probably seen in some of the videos here. It's like you're on the edge here. Love the composition. Yes. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I'll see if I can make, get this other. Uh, yeah, so you've got the tree here. I, I know, I like the idea of looking in this direction and I thought of that because you get the nice shadows. I'm gonna have to get a close up. Okay. Yeah, the nice shadows all in here. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Uh, this was a good time and I'm definitely going back to that spot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and as usual if you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel there's a Patreon link down below. Uh, other than that stay creative and I'll see you guys in the next video.